Hey folks, g'day. Now in this video, I'm going to do a detailed comparison of Falk and Moviel. Now these two pans I have here, they are obviously different. Uh, this is a 20 centimeter sauce pan from Falk, and this is a 24 centimeter rondeau from Moviel. Let's see if I can just put the lid like this. Uh, so therefore, I'm not going to do any cooking test because, well, you can't really compare a saucepan with a rondeau pan. Uh, but I am going to go through every aspect of the construction. And even though they are different pans, um, the comparison is still applicable. Uh, it can be applied to the whole range of Falk and uh, Moviel. Now, when I got this Falk piece, uh, initially I couldn't really think of anything that I disliked about it. But now, having spent a little bit more time with it, there are a couple of um, things um, which I think could be done differently, but um, I will go through that as we go further into the video. Now, an interesting history about Falk. Now, they were the first uh, company to patent this method of bonding a layer of stainless steel to, um, to copper. And this is what a lady told me when I was at the store buying this Falk piece. And they were the first company to do so, um, but um, and they had a patent on it. Uh, but then, for some reason, uh, they forgot to renew the patent, and that is why other companies like Moviel they also started doing the you know the combination of copper and uh, stainless steel. Okay, because Falk forgot to renew the patent. Uh, so in this video, we're going to go through many aspects, so let's just have a look at them all. Uh, we're going to do a quick pre preliminary summary, we we'll go through a product range, general build, we're going to look at the surface finish, we're going to look at the handles, the rivets, the lips, and the weight, and of course uh, somewhere in the middle, actually I forgot to mention that, uh, we are going to go through the pricing. Now if you can't be bothered watching the whole video, uh, let me just give you a quick preliminary summary. And that is these days, Moviel, they have the they still have the better brand recognition and they have a longer and a richer history. But Falk these days make a better product. Okay, so that's uh, that's the preliminary summary. So first let's talk about the product range. Now Falk, all of Falk's cover, cover pans, uh, they come in 2.5 millimeter thickness and they come in all shapes and sizes and form factors. Uh, now Moiel, on the other hand, uh, they make their copper pans in two thicknesses, right? So the M150, which is 1.5 millimeter thick in total with 90% copper, and the M200, which is uh, 2 millimeters in thickness with also 90% copper. Now the M200, it used to be, as I mentioned in the, in the previous video, uh, it used to be the M250, which was 2.5 millimeters, uh, but later on they reduced the thickness to 200, uh, sorry, to 2 millimeters, and that's why it's called the M200. And again, uh, the Moviel M150 or the M200, it also comes in uh, many different um, shapes, form factors, and sizes. So in terms of the product range, uh, simply based on the uh, the types of pens that are available, uh, one is not better than the other. So now let's talk about the general build. So as as just mentioned, our fault pens they are all two point five millimeters in thickness, and two point three millimeters of that is copper, and zero point two millimeters is the interior stainless steel lining. Now, Falk has no tin option, okay, so all Falk, Falk pans come with stainless steel. And the handles on the Falk are either cast iron or stainless steel. Now, Moviel, again, as mentioned, 1.5 or 2.5 with 90% on copper, so you can do the math on um, exactly um, the exact thickness of copper. Now, this is a big thumbs down. Um, in my opinion, for Moviel, because you know they charge they charge Rolls Royce prices for their copper pans. So if I'm gonna pay that much money for a pan, a copper pan, then I want more copper. Okay, so as mentioned in one of my previous videos, so that's a that I think is a big nasty cost cost saving tactic uh, for Moviel. Now the handles on the Moviel they come in three um, 
versions so you've got the stainless steel you've got a bronze and you've got a cast iron now this cast iron handle um, it's not really a cast iron handle uh, it is a, a electroplated stainless steel handle so to make it look like cast iron but uh, we're going to talk about that later in the handles so in terms of the general build um, i'm going to give the win uh, by a clear margin for falk for maintaining the to total 2.5 millimeter thickness okay so that's a big thumbs down for mobile for reducing the thickness of their pants now let's move on to the surface finish both on the inside and the outside now falk uh, it has a brushed copper surface so this is a brushed surface you can see the brushed texture and moviel on the other hand so it's got, it's got a, this one's a bit older so it's got a bit of patina uh, this has a polished copper surface on the inside um, this is interesting with the falk because this is not typically what you see with stainless steel it's got a kind of this gray matte surface okay so this is not the typical stainless steel look and on the Monvial, this has a more typical stainless steel look. It's got a brushed stainless steel inner surface. So here, um, I'm not going to pick a winner because I think they're both fine. I don't have a preference for one over the other. Now, let's move on to the handles. So like I mentioned, Falk, you get stainless steel or cast iron. And this is real cast iron, by the way, this, um, this handle. It's a real cast iron handle. And with Movial, you get three options. You get uh, stainless steel, you get bronze, you get cast iron, uh, or what looks like cast iron. And this is a um, e electroplated stainless steel handle to make it look like cast iron. Uh, so and uh, so obviously, you know, I I'm, I don't have the bronze or the stainless handle here to compare. So I'm gonna compare the uh, the state the cast iron handle on the Falk and the cast iron handle on the Movial. Now the cast iron handle on the Falk, it's it's more rounded. Uh, you can see here it's it's not very flat, uh, so it's not very thin. Uh, so when you hold it, it's 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 got a lot of it's got a lot of body. It's got a lot of uh, mass. Uh, the Movial handles, on the other hand, uh, it's quite um it's quite thin and flat, and that's another reason why I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure this is a uh, stainless handle that's been made to look like cast iron because if it was cast iron. They wouldn't make it so thin because it could actually crack because cast iron is a brittle material so this is more flat and it's kind of got this uh sorry but here it's kind of this got this u-shaped profile uh, in this section of the handle now which one do i like um which one do i like better well the handle on the fork gives you a very steady gives you a very steady grip um, you know it's got a lot of mass a lot of body but the one thing that i don't like about the falk handles it's is that it is angled very very high uh, so if i try to hold it like this you, you can see how steeply the ang the uh, the handle rises up and that could be a problem for me it's okay it, it's okay it's no problem but that could be a problem if you are someone who's not that tall because you might need to have you might actually have to raise your arm um, to grab the uh, handle of the falk and it also of course depends on how tall your stove is or how tall the pan is sitting on the stove uh, so uh, like so i like the grip on the falk but um i don't like how the ang and the angle is so is so steep on the falk now with the movie uh, you get it's it's more sensible so the 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 profile here is a little bit flat right so um so that it's it's easier to hold on um to the movie out um but um the shape of this handle is i feel is a bit less comfortable than fuck okay so and also of course you know as as mentioned twice now this is not a real cast iron handle so in the category of handles uh i'm going to give uh, the slight edge to folk but only by a very slight um only by a very slight margin uh next the rivets on the handle so this is one thing i don't like about folk because if we look at the rivets on the handle you can see how uh, i don't know how clearly you can see this but you can see how far it sticks out from the um inner surface of the pen so that's by a good two millimeters so 
that would make it a bit difficult uh, to clean around these uh, extruding rivets. Okay, so they really do extrude quite far from the pan. And this is one thing that Moviel, I think, does better. Um, well, the rivets are bigger, so it does make it a bit easier to clean. And um, it's still, it, it is still extruding quite a lot from the pan, but um, because of the shape of it, it, um, yeah, it, it makes it easier to clean um, than the Falk. Clean around the rivets, I mean. So here, uh, the winner I would give to Moviel. Next, um, let's look at the lips and the edge of the pan. Now, this is um, this is why we're I'm going to give the winner give the win to Falk. Uh, now, Falk, the lips it well it has it does actually have a lip. Okay, so that makes it easier to pour, and I also think it makes the pan look better. So there's a lip on the Falk. Um, so that comes with all Falk pans, but there's no lip on the Monvl. So on the Monvl, the uh, the edge of the pan is just a straight-sided edge. Uh, and one disadvantage that comes with that is that the lip, um, sorry, the e edge here on the outside especially, um, also I mentioned in the previous video, is very, very sharp and you can literally cut yourself. Um, so definitely be careful about that. So that's why um, for the lip or the edge of the pan, the winner goes to Falk. Uh, now, the next, the weight. Uh, here, I can't make a direct comparison because, um, well, as I mentioned, they, uh, they don't come in the same thicknesses. Uh, but Falk being 2.5 millimeters, it is going to weigh more than the Movial, uh, than an equivalent Movial of the same, uh, same size, same size and shape. Uh, so here, uh, well, again, you can't directly compare it, but I prefer Falk. So here, keep in mind that if you're someone who just doesn't like heavy cookware, then you may have some difficulty with Falk because, because copper is so dense, a very small increase in thickness adds a lot of weight and makes a big difference to the weight of, uh, of the pan. Uh, next, we're going to look at the lids. Um, now, I didn't really make any notes on, about the lids on my, um, in, in my written notes, but um, there is... Uh, well, I mean, there there's nothing that I like or dislike about the lids. So the construction of the lids between the Forma Falk and the Movial, they are really basically identical. Um, it's mostly stainless steel with a very thin layer of copper on top. And that goes, that is the same with the Movial. Uh, a layer of stainless steel with a very thin layer of copper on top. So the last section before we um, do the summary is the price. So we're gonna look at two examples of pricing. Uh, the first example is the 20 centimeter uh, saucepan between Falk and Movial. Okay. So if you buy, if you go with Movial, uh, N150, a 1.5 millimeter thick 20 centimeter copper saucepan will cost you around 370 euros, uh, including the lid. The M200, so the two millimeter thick model will cost a whopping 490 euros. Ooh, that is a lot of money, okay? And the 20 centimeter Falk, which is what I have here, uh, will cost you 345 euros. And you can normally get a 10% discount on that, between 5 and 10%, so closer to 300 euros. So you can see here, Falk definitely gives you the better value for money, especially considering that, is, that, that it is thicker than the Moviel. Another example, so let's talk about this 24 centimeter saute pan. Uh, the M150 Monvl, 1.5 millimeters, will cost 430 euros. Uh, the M200, the 200, uh, sorry, the 2 millimeter thick saute pan, 24 centimeters for Monvl, will cost you an absolute whopping 560 euros. Whoa, I had a car, I had cars that didn't cost me that much and uh, if you get a Falk equivalent of this it will cost you 355 euros okay that's all including the lid so now let's do a quick summary um, well I think the story is pretty clear uh, Falk gives you better value for money by far uh, so if that's important to you, then definitely go with the Falk. 
if you want a thicker copper pen, and I think copper pens should not be less than two millimeters, uh, they also go with a Falk. But if you really, really care about getting that movie out name, then and if you've got some spare money to spend, then uh, go with the movie out. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this uh, detailed look uh, between the Falk and the Movial, and I will see you in the next video.